What happens to your brain, blood flow and pleasure when you use poppers? Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Fabio, an andrologist from London. This is the first episode in our series about drugs and their effects on sexual health. Before we start, I want to make it clear, I am firmly against the use of any drugs. This series is purely educational, aiming to raise awareness about the dangers of drugs and their impact on your health, including your sexual well-being. Today we're diving into poppers and how they affect sexual activities. Let's explore this topic in a friendly and informative way. But one thing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful discussions on health and wellness topics. We're here to provide you with reliable information and support your journey to better health. The term popper refers to a class of psychoactive substances characterized by the presence of nitrites. Now these are not the same nitrites used as preservatives in cured meats. Those are solid and have a completely different purpose. The nitrites we're talking about here are liquid compounds, often including isopentyl nitrite, also known as isomal nitrite, among others. Historically, these compounds were first synthesized in the early 19th century by the French chemist Prof. Ballard. Well, before poppers became associated with recreational use, they were employed medicinally to treat certain cardiac conditions like angina. Angina involves excessive vasoconstriction of the coronary arteries, causing severe chest pain. Nitrites helped by dilating these blood vessels. Over time, the name popper emerged from the popping sound that early ampules or vials made when opened. Later, around the 1980s, their use spread widely, partly because of their so-called aphrodisiac properties. They induce vasodilation and a sense of relaxation. Due to these attributes, poppers started appearing in sex shops across England before eventually reaching the rest of Europe. They were particularly popular in certain communities due to the enhanced sexual experience they could provide. Now let's go deeper from a chemical standpoint. Poppers are usually contained in small bottles. They're inhaled directly, allowing the volatile liquid to be absorbed through the nasal mucosa. Different types of nitrites can be found in these little bottles, such as cyclohexyl nitrite, isoamyl nitrite, or isobutyl nitrite. Once the bottle is opened, the liquid evaporates and the resulting vapor can be easily inhaled. Upon inhalation, part of the substance is absorbed by the nasal mucous membranes, while the remainder reaches the lungs. From the lungs, the nitrites enter the bloodstream through the alveoli, tiny grape-like structures that facilitate gas exchange, absorbing oxygen but also other inhaled substances, and then sending them directly into the circulation. Within mere seconds, the nitrites travel via the bloodstream to the brain. There they cause vasodilation, an expansion of blood vessels, including veins and capillaries that surround the brain. These vessels become engorged with blood, increasing their volume. This increase in volume can raise intracranial pressure, somewhat like inflating a balloon inside a container that's too small. As the balloon, your blood vessels expands, pressure rises inside the container, your skull. Medically, we describe this as an increase in intracranial pressure. This surge in pressure often leads to feelings of euphoria, relaxation, and a reduction in inhibitions. But the vasodilatory effect isn't limited to the brain, it's systemic. As blood vessels throughout the body dilate, people can experience a warm, flushed feeling dot. The vasodilating effects of poppers cause blood vessels to expand, increasing blood flow throughout the body. This can enhance physical sensations, making them popular in certain sexual contexts for both men and women. For men, poppers can intensify and prolong erections by increasing blood flow to the genital area. This effect is one reason why they became popular in the LGBTQ plus community during the 1980s. Poppers also relax smooth muscles, which are found in the anus and genital areas. This relaxation can make certain sexual activities more comfortable, contributing to their use in enhancing sexual experiences. Despite their popularity, it's crucial to be aware of the risks associated with poppers. Mixing them with other substances like Viagra can be dangerous, leading to severe health complications, including hypoxia. Hypoxia occurs when the body doesn't receive enough oxygen, which can be life-threatening. Combining poppers with alcohol or other drugs can exacerbate this risk, leading to nausea, vomiting, or even coma. Long-term use of poppers can lead to various health issues, including respiratory problems, headaches, and weakened immune responses. It's important to use them responsibly and be aware of potential side effects. Poppers are classified as possible carcinogens, meaning there's some evidence they could increase cancer risk. However, more research is needed to fully understand their long-term health impacts on humans. It's essential to handle poppers with care as they are highly irritating liquids. Direct contact with skin or ingestion can be harmful, so always ensure they are used safely and stored properly. 
In many countries, poppers are regulated or illegal due to their potential health risks. It's important to be aware of the legal status in your area and consider these factors before using them. While poppers can enhance sexual experiences for some, they are not without risks. It's crucial to weigh the potential benefits against the possible health consequences and make informed decisions. If you're considering using poppers, it's wise to consult with a healthcare professional. They can provide guidance on safe usage and help you understand any potential interactions with medications you may be taking. Remember, everyone's body reacts differently to substances like poppers. What works for one person may not be safe or effective for another, so it's important to listen to your body and prioritize your health. In conclusion, while poppers can offer certain benefits in sexual activities, they come with significant risks. Being informed and cautious is key to ensuring your safety and well-being. Thank you for joining me today to explore the effects of poppers on sexual activities. I hope this information helps you make informed choices about your health and lifestyle. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, feel free to leave a comment. Your feedback is invaluable in shaping our content and ensuring it meets your needs. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Stay safe, stay informed and take care of yourselves and each other.